Hello, I'm Chris, and today we're going to be talking about automating energizing orbs for one item recipes. In this case, blaze rods into blazing crystals, although any recipe that requires just one item will do the trick. This is very compact and it's using mostly vanilla Minecraft materials and rather easy to get materials in Automods 9. This can be stacked up together, you can have multiple of these side by side, so it is very compact and very effective. You don't need all too much for it. In terms of materials, we're going to be using a power source, you might have a reactor, that's probably the best power source. But for this tutorial I'm just going to use creative power, but obviously you'll have a reactor, there's many other things you could use. You also need an energizing rod and some energy cable. In this case I have nitro, but you can have whatever level you can actually afford to make. This isn't all too critical, it just affects the speed really at the end of the day. You'll need your energizing orb. Very importantly, you'll need an omnidirectional hopper. From base Minecraft, we'll need redstone comparators, redstone torches, and redstone dust. You could also use pretty much any storage you want. We'll use vanilla chests in this example, but you could also use sophisticated backpacks, which have other features you might like, like stack upgrades. If you want to automate taking out of the energizing orb, rather than just putting blaze rods in and manually taking out, you might need something like universal pipes or item pipes from pipes mod. There's other mods you can use, I just find these simple and effective to use in an instance like this. You could also use a couple of wrenches, a wrench from the power mod and also a wrench from the pipes mod if you're using pipes. Pretty simple setup, very easy to do and easily duplicated. Over here you can see we've got multiple side by side, this is five in a row all running together. All completely automated, putting in the blaze rods and then pulling them out and putting them into the container. So you've got one container here for your blaze rods and one container here for your blazing crystals. And just one row of energy rods behind all of it making it work. So the really simple way to make this is to obviously have your power source wherever it may be. Run some energy cable coming off of it and drop an energizing rod. Two blocks away from this, so two block gap, you're going to want to place your energizing orb. These are probably linked by default but obviously if you have multiple side by side this may mess up so switch your wrench into link mode and link them together if not already linked. This is where it gets pretty straightforward. Drop a redstone comparator, drop a block of redstone and destroy these four blocks here. This come quite apparent soon. Place redstone torches in this fashion and connect them up like this. If you haven't used a redstone comparator before but basically it means if there is an object inside this energizing orb, and for many other cases, it will also provide power to the redstone comparator. So the redstone comparator will power, go along here, turn off this torch, and then turn this torch on. That is quite important for just getting the redstone signal over here to basically say, there's an item in here, do not dispense anymore. So you want to drop your omnidirectional hopper so it is going into the energizing orb, just like that. And you can use a wrench from pretty much any mod, the pipes wrench works with this as well as the power mod, to rotate this upwards. You can place this by jumping up and shift clicking placing it, but it's quite buggy on energizing orb and often doesn't work. When you've got your omnidirectional hopper, you want to turn it into being enabled by redstone. So either high signal or low signal, it doesn't really matter because it's on top of a torch. We'll put it on low signal for now though. At this point, we are almost done. We just want to put a chest on top of our hopper here so we can feed in some blaze rods. And as you can see, it's already working. So we can take it out, turn the blaze rod into a blazing crystal, and then obviously it doesn't keep adding blaze rods. Take it out, and it works just fine. At this point, you could do whatever you want to do to change the way that this works to automatically take out. So obviously with pipes, we want to remove that connection there. We want to add a chest here, for example, and set that to extract. And now, very simply, very easily, we have a very quick automated energized crystal setup. And this will keep working this way until you run out of blaze rods. As I said, this is very, very easy to duplicate and the setup I've got over there, you can see just how it's the same machine on repeat. But instead of just one pipe going to a chest, we got pipes going across the top of them, pulling into a backpack, and across the 
omnidirectional hoppers instead of a chest on top. We have pipes feeding into them from a backpack. It's always good to add a pipe upgrade here because then you can set the distribution to around Robin. It doesn't make a big difference at the end of the day. But to begin with, they'll make them all run at the same time, which is less visual chaos. So I hope you enjoyed this very quick guide on how to pull off this automation. Thank you for watching.